So let's talk about this. We've got Commodore uh, West. If anyone can remember way back in 2011, we was promised a new modern day Commodore 64 machine. This was by Commodore USA. So it turns out that Commodore USA, uh, one of the members died. I think it was a CEO uh, from what I read last night. But we're talking Commodore OS, and if we go onto the website, and link is in my description for this, we'll see that the developer beyond the operating system itself looks like he's going to be re-releasing the operating system in 2023, which also is a Linux distribution by Leo Nigro. So what I'm going to do is prep you up to get you running on the original beta operating system for Commodore OS. So to do this, you're going to need some stuff. You're going to need VirtualBox to get this operating system running on Windows 10, 11. So let's first of all go in grab the VirtualBox. So let me just give you a heads up. If you're not familiar with VirtualBox, what it does, it creates a virtual operating system within your main operating system. So for example, I'm using Windows 11 and I'm going to set VirtualBox up to have it running Commodore OS, Commodore operating system. So firstly, we need to download this, but I've already downloaded this and obviously links in my description. Uh, secondly, link is in my description for this one also. We need to download both disks of the original Commodore OS beta. So if we just go on this website and scroll down, you're going to find a link here saying download Commodore OS. And the ones you need is the latest ones, which is OS 1.0 beta 9. And like I said, there's two disk images. So you need to download DVD 1 of 2 and DVD 2 of 2. So around 8 gigabyte in size, just over 8 gigabyte. So make sure you download those. Okay, so once you've downloaded your disk images of Commodore OS, and we've also got VirtualBox installation, we're gonna open up VirtualBox and we're gonna install this. So double left click and press yes. And next. And wherever you want VirtualBox to install to, I'm going to just leave all this as default. Next. And yes, and yes, and install. So this has just now created a new shortcut on our desktop. And I'm going to just start Oracle as checked. So just let's just finish this. So once you open up VirtualBox for the first time, you're going to be presented with this little welcome. Let's start installing Commodore OS on your Windows computer. So first things first, we need to go to new and we're going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this Commodore OS. And I'm going to leave this folder as default. That's where our settings and everything else is going to be saved. And under ISO image, I'm going to just select disk one for now. And I'm going to go to next. And for base memory, you're good to set this up as high as the green part indicates. And also for processor as well, you can slide that right up to where that green part ends. And next. And just here, your disk size, I recommend leaving this as default. In my case, this is 25 gigabyte. The installation for Commodore OS requires just under 10 gigabyte. So leave this one as B. And next. And this is just a summarization of our settings and we can hit finish here. So there's still a couple of things left to do before we can get into Commodore OS. We should now have the Commodore OS on VirtualBox here. If we just right click on this and hit settings, there's a couple of settings we need to change before we actually start this. So firstly, we need to go down to display and video memory. You can whack this one up to 128 megabyte. And we next go to storage and as we know we got two disk images for Commodore OS but this one's only got one attached. We also need to add the second disk for the installation so let's add the second disk. If we hover over this little disk where it says add optical drive just left click on this one and if yours doesn't turn up here just go to add and then just highlight your disk 2 image and that should now pop up under medium selector. So I'm going to highlight disk 2 and choose and now as you can see I have got disk 1 and I've got disk 2 both inserted. Now something you need to focus on is the primary and secondary. So for example disk 1 needs to be changed to primary that needs to be the first thing 
that VirtualBox seats to install. So make sure disk one is set to primary device and also disk two is then set to secondary device. So we got disk one, now boot them up first as primary and we got disk two as secondary. And with that, we're pretty much all good to go. So let's just hit okay just here. So first thing we're gonna to need to do here is boot the live system. So use cursor key to move down to that and press enter. And here we go. So what we need to do next is just if you feel like reading through all this, just read it and then press close and close again. And it's next telling us some information about optimum hardware performance, so we can just okay that. And would you like to install Commodore OS Vision Extras now? So also press yes on this. And let's just wait for this process to copy the files over. So that's it, you're now in Commodore OS Vision. I can show you a few things on this, but I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to spend some time with this operating system yourself. So to close this down, once you're finished with this, if we just go up to the power button, and from here, I'm going to just hit shut down. So that's about it for Commodore OS. So if you've got an old computer lying around and you think to yourself, I quite like that operating system, we've got the files just here to burn these onto disk and you can install these on a dedicated machine. And as always, if you've not yet checked out my Facebook, check that out and follow me. I'm also on Instagram, I'm also on TikTok, and I am also on Twitter. So be sure to follow me on one of those platforms where I'm gonna give you up-to-date videos and just give you notifications. And talking them notifications, just hit notifications, it helps my channel greatly. So until next time, stay retro.